Typically our moms, sometimes our dads taught us to read and in schools today we need to make that a high priority. And here's the story I want to tell you because it's one that, that gives me great joy. It comes from an email that I got uh, this last year. Governor, your education program was under discussion at a recent family get-together. Our granddaughter was held back in first grade because she was unable to read up to the standards you set as governor. She just was not able to read. And she would have, before Governor Bush's uh, programs, she would have been moved on. And if it wasn't for this program, we don't know what would have happened to her. In 2002, Florida eliminated social promotion. The good Lord knows that there was a huge controversy when we did this because a third of our children were functionally illiterate. And people were worried about the self-esteem of little Johnny rather than whether they could read. When I first got held back, the first day of school was so hard for me. Um, I went home bawling in tears because all of my friends were in the second grade. And my guess is that if you're functionally illiterate in fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, and eighth grade, Chances are you're going to drop out when you're in high school, but also your self-esteem will be shattered when you can't fill out a form to get a job. Absolutely, it was the right decision because I see my friends now that didn't get held back that should have been, and they're struggling. In two years' time, we cut the illiteracy rate in half. His education policy, if it wasn't there and if it didn't exist, I would have moved on, and I would be struggling now, and I'd be giving up, and I wouldn't be able to pursue my dreams. 